Right guys, welcome back. So today we've got to do a rad valve change, obviously a quick change on a sealed system. Um, but I just thought I'd just talk you through what I do. So first off, I just want to get the pressure out of the system really. So on this system here, luckily I've got a valent boiler uh, so I can go straight from straight from the drain off there. And as you can see, I've got my little widget that I connect straight on. And then I can just use my seven mil spanner and drain the pressure out. If, that, if I didn't have that, then I would either go to um like a drain off somewhere or i would actually just use the rad valve uh to drain it down which i'll do a separate video another time on on that um but yeah that, that's, that's basically it so at a minute just getting the pressure out as you can see there we go so we've got loads of water coming out there. So I just want to drain it down, get the pressure down to down to as close to a zero really as I can. So yeah, we're at half a bar there. Let it keep coming down. Do up the drain off because I don't want to drain the whole house really. Um, I'm literally just doing a rad valve upstairs. So it's nice and easy. Just got to drop the pressure out because then the pressure will be below this point here. So what I tend to do, it, well, so another company had already been out the day before. So this was yesterday on Sunday. And uh, they'd actually just, just isolated the radiator valves. That was it. So I was like, okay, right, let's just get this done then. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm just pasting up the new one. You can use your finger, do whatever you want to do. And using my spanner this time, because I've got quite a lot of people moaning last time that I used a pair of grips. <laughs> go so the one on the uh, rad side is done so now I've literally just got they were quite tight threads for some reason and it looks like somebody had actually packed the top of the uh the, the trv with, with ptfe probably to try and stop it from leaking it would have just been easier just to just, just to do the change to be honest in my eyes but they refused to there we go so then we've only got the pressure behind on the on the radiator side and then literally just got to put the new one on Get them valves done up. Let's see a bit of an angle there for some reason. There we go, all tightened back up again. Then nip back downstairs. Top up the pressure. There we go. Let it go for a little bit more. Back upstairs. I'm just testing for any leaks, make sure it's all, all good. If not, then I can uh, give it a little nip up if needed. But yeah, then uh, get all my towels away. And then just vent the rad. Because we've only worked on that rad. Shouldn't really need anything else, but I will I will get the heating up and running just to double check all the other rads upstairs. Um, yeah, got the heating on. And I just put it into chimney sweep mode just to get everything fired up nice and quickly. Um, time is money and all that. Yeah, hope that helps someone. Cheers, guys.